If you're an insurance agent right now that's thinking about using AI competitors, you're thinking that AI is your meal ticket to making money with final expense insurance sales, life insurance sales, or maybe Medicare insurance sales, or even annuity sales. If you think AI is actually your meal ticket, stop right now, my friends. I'm going to dive into what the FCC just made official to you, and you need to have this knowledge. Knowledge is power, and it's going to keep you into a place that you can still make some paper and profitability if you're successful. But what they just did and made crystal clear is something you want to pay very careful attention to. So we're going to drop this content to you before I go into this in all levels of detail. My name is Jason, and I'm your friend in the business, and I am so blessed to be able to recruit and partner with some of the most amazing agents as well as agencies that align here to sell life, Medicare, and annuities face-to-face, -face, but yes, more importantly, in the telespace. So free resources for your taking at jasonfinalexpense.com, and let's dive into what the FCC just did, and I know – a lot of you insurance agents are probably just fed up to hear with hearing about the FCC doing one more thing that's going to make your job that much tougher. Well, let's back up for a second and realize I'm very happy about what the FCC is yelling from the mountaintops. You want to make money, and the last thing you want is lazy competitors that think they're going to last in the industry by outsmarting a simple business model, which is buy leads and call the leads, buy leads and call the leads. AI-generated voices and robocalling, this is something that took place many, many years ago, and it's been illegal for a long time. It was called an avatar lead, very cheap to produce back in the day when they were legal for a very short time period. Um, they were lucrative for a lot of agents, and then guess what? They went the way of the dodo. They're done. So the FCC recently just made it illegal to use AI-generated voices and robocalls, period, period, period. Do not pay to use AI in any outbound call or even inbound call. This kind of came to light. The FCC announced on Thursday a ruling that makes robocalls using artificial intelligence generated voices, which is all about chat GPT and all this fun stuff, right? Just weeks after New Hampshire. So you're like, uh oh, we're getting political now, right? Well, a lot of people are getting these fake calls from a digitally generated voice impersonating the president. Well, that is why bad actors out there, even in our business of final expense insurance sales and even final expense telesales, bad actors are using AI generated voices in robocalls. This has been illegal forever. And we're not talking about just fraudsters here. We're talking about they're giving. The government, the FCC, new tools to crack down on anyone that's using voice cloning technology to use a scam. But guess what? It says it right here. While robocall scams using AI-generated voices were already considered illegal, already Thursday's ruling clarifies that generating a voice with AI for a robocall in itself is illegal according to the FCC. My friends, they are making this so crystal clear. Do not cut corners in here. It's going to cost you your career. They are going to come after you using AI. I don't care if you're using it for what you think is good. You may think you're going to build a better mouse trap. You're going to lose so much money. Never, and I mean never, use AI for a final expense lead, an insurance lead, period. I can't be more intentional about this. The FCC is not making false claims here. They will come after you. You're trying to make cash flow. You can buy leads. You can call leads. We have done insurance sales for a very long time. I personally have done insurance sales for over two plus decades Okay, in this space doing insurance. I ran call centers. We never used AI. We had actual real people. Realize artificial intelligence is first off 100% artificial, even though it's good, but it really lacks any form of intelligence, and you don't want to be blown up by some bot, do you? I mean, the old golden rule, right? You don't want people blowing up your phone with robots. It irritates me, and it's irritated a lot of people to their core. So understand Thursday's ruling clarifies that generating a voice with AI for a robocall in itself is illegal, period, um, according to the FCC. Here you go. They're talking about AI-generated voice technology is becoming increasingly sophisticated with the ability to create voices that are strikingly realistic. And that's what a lot of these people uh, will sell you on. Oh, man, you can get these opt-ins that say it's okay to use 
special AI and it's just fine. Nope, you're going to lose your lunch money, my friends. The FCC made it illegal, period. It's been illegal. Avatar leads using the old press one opt-ins. They've been illegal for a long time and you think you're going to somehow get around this? You're, you're going to be a lawyer's lunch, my friends. Just don't do it. Keep this business simple. Buy leads. Call the leads. Hopefully never call it quits and make great money when you're successful. But yet 90% of the agent force fails because they're constantly looking for the path of least resistance. They want to have a robot or a computer somehow turn this industry into a cash machine. I don't want to call anybody. I, I want leads where I don't have to call them and I just stack paper. This is going to put you into a very bad place if this is you. Understand AI is going to be a massive, not money maker for you when you get popped. The FCC is saying, it's illegal. We're going to come after you. This happened after the New Hampshire primary. Okay, The attorney general, they're saying straight up, don't try it. If you do, we'll work together to investigate. We will work together with partners across the country to find you, and we will take any enforcement action available to us under the law. The consequences for your actions will be severe, my friends. It says... The consequences for your actions will be severe. Do you really think the FCC is playing around right now? If you do, put it in the comments. Um, I certainly don't. Um, the ability to use technology to take advantage of seniors is super high, and you and in the insurance industry are not about that. But you've got to understand that there's a lot of bad actors that will take the path of least resistance to use a robocaller, a robo-dialer, and use AI to make tons and tons of calls, which really pesters a lot of our clients. They want to be served with the products that you sell. They want you to help unpack their problems, but they do not want to be talking to an AI-generated voice. And then when they find out, oh my goodness, it's not good. So the fact that even the presidential okay, candidates, the president himself is like, nope, we're putting y'all on notice. Get ready. This is not Anything to be playing around with, my friends. You've got to keep your world small. You got to focus on just calling leads for what the business has always been. Don't try to cut corners. This will cost you more than you may know, including maybe your livelihood. So the FCC makes it extremely clear do not use AI generated voices in your calls. Period, period, period. This is the end of the story. So be careful. We already know you've got to have. Great leads, and if you need good final expense insurance leads or life insurance leads, reach out at jasonfinalexpense.com. If you need aged leads while they're still legal to, to call, we can help you get those resources where you can get a 90-day old or less lead for under $2 a piece. Reach out. Um, we'll serve you, but you need to know this information. Make sure that you've got the notification bell on so that you don't miss some of these new FCC rulings. Um, that could really rock your world if you're using AI-generated voices in any form of calling. I would even encourage you to not use bots, little chat bots in your CRM. I wouldn't even use chat bots. I would be really cautious right now because that crosshair is going to align on you, and I want to keep you in the industry. I don't want you getting hurt. A lot of these bots are really unsophisticated, especially when they're using – just a very generic form of maybe high level. Um, nothing against that, but it's kind of a generic bot, and that could bite you too. Um, with the FCC making AI-generated voices illegal, don't care what your opt-ins are. I'd be real cautious about your texting. put you into harm's way, and that's not what you want. So I hope you have the notification bell on our channel. We will do our best to give you the data that you need to hopefully have the ability to make dollars in a very simple business. It's far from easy, my friends. 90% of the agent force fails, sometimes because they didn't get the right information, sometimes not the right training, sometimes they didn't believe enough in themselves, but sometimes they got bit by using AI. And this may really take you out of this industry. I hope this helps you. Yeah, share it with a buddy if it would bring them the knowledge that they need. Knowledge is power, and I hope you find profitability in this business. We'll see you soon, and remember, you've got what it takes, my friends. We'll see you soon.